So we got our chicken house here, and uh, we went to uh, Lowe's. We picked up some fence posts for our chicken wire. We picked up some high wire here, and we already had some posts up here on the top. There's our gate we're gonna use there. So the first thing you're gonna need is these metal poles. They're about seven bucks, six fifty, something like that. You're also gonna need a post hole driver, preferably something like that. And then you're gonna need something to dig, dig, dig down a little bit where you put your wire, because you want to put it a little lower than the ground, so stuff doesn't dig under it. And you'll need these little wire galvanized heat post clips, and those will go around. That thing slides right over the top of the pole and it hits down, bam, 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 until it gets low. So, here we go. So this fence right here, I stapled using this staple gun here, Dewalt, really nice staple gun. I encourage everybody to get one, but it's got little staples in there. with animals and stuff? No. <laughs> they're really in this bush. They might live in here. What's it called? A lingcoat? A lingcoat. Might live in here. Huh. In one of these ones. It's spicy. It's juicy to do much. Okay. Got it.
here. Clancy, come on, let's look at your chicken coop. Close the door. Here's how you close the door, Clancy. Look. You push it closed. Now look. You have to slide that over like that. Okay? 